There is an argument going around, and it's been going around for a long time, that if you want to use Linux, you must not value your time. Because, and, and the theory goes that because you have to learn how to use Linux, you're going to be wasting a ton of time doing things that you wouldn't normally have to spend time doing, simply because you have to learn new ways of doing things. And this argument is dumb. Like It's the dumbest argument that has ever been argued, if we can say it that way, because I don't know how to break this to the people who make this argument, but you were not born knowing how to use an operating system. No matter what operating system that was, that was your first experience, you weren't born how, knowing how to use it. Like, my first experience with an operating system was one of the early versions of Mac OS. It was still black and white. I'm pretty sure there weren't wasn't any color on it. The mouse that you had to use still had one button on it, and it had a like a really nasty rubber ball on the bottom that was always gunking up and didn't work half the time. That was my first experience with a computer. It was way back in elementary school in the early 90s. I loved that computer. It was fantastic. I, like, I didn't own it. It was at the school. But it was fantastic because I got to play Oregon Trail on it. it was like The first version of Oregon Trail, I think, came out in 1991. I'm pretty sure that was when I was playing it. And, yeah, I loved that computer. But even though I don't really remember my first absolute first day experiencing that operating system, I can tell you right away, I didn't know everything about it. I didn't know how to use it. Like, I had never seen a mouse before. That first day, very few people had at that point. I mean, for the most part, in the early 90s, having a personal computer at home was still very rare because they were really freaking expensive. I didn't get my first computer at home until the year 2000. So the point is, my experience then represents what everyone goes through when it comes to operating systems. Because you weren't born knowing how to use Windows, you weren't born knowing how to use Mac OS, and you weren't born knowing how to use Linux. You had to learn, which means you had to invest time to learning that operating system. Now, we can argue about whether or not the time that you need to spend learning an operating system is longer on Linux or Windows or on Mac OS. It doesn't... The, 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 that argument really doesn't matter because it really depends on how long you have to learn, you know, how long it takes you to learn something, what your needs are, like, are you going to have to find a whole bunch of different software and learn all that too? You know, it, it, the variables in that argument are vast and numerous and personal. But the argument of Linux being a waste of time simply because you have to learn it is asinine because you had to learn all the other operating systems you've ever used too which means you've had to invest time in learning those things, which is the exact same thing you have to do with Linux. It's a dumb argument. And I don't want to hear it anymore because, honestly, this whole idea that you're going to sit down in front of any operating system that you've never used before and just instinctively know how to use it is just something that is... I, I can't fathom anybody actually believing that. It's just not something that I can even wrap my mind around because I, like, I know that that's not the experience. Granted, in most places, chances are most people have used a, a computer of some kind before. It's probably not true the world over as much as it should be, but in, in probably the vast majority of populated places, people have used computers before. So some of that time has already been spent to learning something about whatever operating system it is. Chances are it's probably Windows. So they're going to be able to take that experience and then become even more familiar the next time they sit down in front of a computer. So the point is, is that they have spent, everyone has spent some time, everyone who has used a computer has spent some time in front of a computer and has started learning whatever, how that computer works, whether it's superficial knowledge or not. Like a lot of people are never going to know how to do a computer update. A lot of people aren't going to, I'm pretty sure my mother still doesn't know how to shut her computer down. She's been using it for 10, 15 years. Um, I've taught her many times, but she can never remember. It doesn't matter. Whatever floats her boat, you know. But the, the point is, she still has some knowledge on top of that. She knows how to open up a, a web browser. She knows how to do open up the start menu. She knows how to take a screenshot, all this stuff. And everybody's kind of like that superficially. And then how, how much more you know about the computer and the operating system depends on how much time you've put in learning to do new things. So that experience on Windows is the exact same experience you have on Linux. You have to put in time and effort in order to learn things. It's not a waste of time. It's the same experience just with a different operating system it's a, it's the same experience no matter what you do in life you always have to put in time to learn how to do things there's a i think it was malcolm gladwell who says you have to put 
I could be wrong on that name, by the way. I watched a TED Talk like 10 years ago. I think it's the name. But anyway, someone said that you have to spend 10,000 hours to be an expert in anything. Well, that's true, but you have to spend a certain amount of time to know anything about anything, to how to do anything, whether it's driving a car, learning how to read, learning how to walk. I mean, literally every single human experience that you have to do outside of breathing, <laughs> like that's something like breathing is something we learn naturally. Like, but so we do that automatically. At least the you know the 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 lucky among us, I suppose. The but outside of that, everything else had to be learned, and everything and all those things that you have to learn take time. So the idea that learning how to li use Linux is the only experience that would be a waste of time. Uh, when everything else requires the same amount of effort and time, is just dumb. So this argument needs to go away. It just needs to go away. Linux is just as hard to learn as Windows is. It is. The reason why Windows seems easier is because most people already know how to use it. They've been using it since, you know, their days in, in, in school. Like, most people use Windows in school. They learn, you know, how to use Lin Windows in school. And then they switch to Linux and it consider, you know, it seems hard just because they've, they're having to relearn stuff. So they're just going through that experience that they'd already gone through before, but it didn't seem like a chore back then because they were in school or whatever, or maybe because, you know, they didn't have to learn every single new application all at once, you know, because when you do switch to Linux, you kind of have to... It, the deluge of in information that is kind of shoved at you at the beginning. You have to learn how to install it. You have to find every single application that you can use that is similar to what you used on Windows. And you have to find new applications that replace ones that aren't available on Linux. You have to do all this stuff pretty much all at once. And that can be overwhelming. It's not a waste of time, of course, because you're learning something new. Like, everything that you want to learn requires that effort. So, bottom line is, Linux takes effort just like everything else. I mean, obviously. I mean, I don't, I don't understand why this is even an argument. So, it's just stupid. Anyway, so that is it for this video. Just a short, rambly video. You can follow me on Twitter at LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons. Sid A, Devon, Chris, East Coast Web, Gen 2 is fun too, Patrick O, Primus, Marcus, Meglin, Jackson, F. Tool, Steve A, Mitchell, Art Center, Amateus, Carbon Dated, Merrick Camp, Joshua Lee, J Doug, The BSDs Rock, Peter A, and Crucible. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.